Hey there YouTube, I've gotten a request to uh, show you guys how to make uh, basically a song using Linux Multimedia Studio. Now, it's honestly pretty simple once you get the hang of it, but you're going to have to be able to navigate around here and figure out what you're doing. But I'll show you the basics and how to get into it. So, <clears throat> first of all, I'm going to open up the sound area. Okay. So you have these tabs over here on the side, okay, and uh, I want you to click the sound note one right here if you want to follow along with me. Now in here, I'm going to go to drums and basically see what we have to work with here. So you can click on them and you can sample them and see what's going on with these different sounds here. and. Uh, just basically choose one I'm just choose this one you can use the kicker but I prefer just to use a default now on here you can basically click along here to make your own beat pretty simple right now I'm gonna go over here Okay, so now we have a bit of variation in the beat. Um, pretty simple. I mean, I could do a complex one, but this is just a little example. Now, to make it better, we could extend it. Just repeat it. And... I am just going to continue. <laughs> and now you have some variation to your beat. Pretty generic, but it works, right? Now, you can either use one of these, a pre made uh, instrument in the instruments tab, but I think for a melody or bass or whatever, whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to stay in the samples tab. Now, um, see what string pads has. That sounds pretty good. To prevent this from ending, you see how that ends if you hold it down? To prevent that, I'm going to click Enable Loop. Now, I'm going to set the start point. Yeah, I'm just going to keep that the same, but the look back point, I want it to be maybe here. Okay, this sound already loops. If you want a little melody to it, like a... That's pretty good too. I like that. Um, I always like to add some reverb to it. Now that right there, that sounds beautiful in my opinion. Now... To match with this B, I'm going to do something like... I suck at the piano roll, so I'm just going to do it this way.
Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and make this into some sort of a working song, all right? So basically, I'm just going to click up here where the beat drum bass line is I've created, and I'm going to press space and play. Now, as you can tell, that's sounding pretty good, if you ask me. Um, but, you know, there's a lot more we can do here to make it better. That was just a little example. Now, a lot something I like to do is increase the tempo as the song goes on. So let me show you how, what you can do with that. I'm going to hold left control, and the CTRL key in the bottom left of your keyboard. Hold that down, click, hold click, and drag down to the automation track right here in the very first square. Now that is set to automatically set the song to 140 beats per minute. But I want to do something else. I want to keep that going up. Now let's let's make the song speed up. So I just scaled that up. To do that you want to put it on the edge of the note, put your mouse right on the edge of the note and extend it out to however long you want it to scale up to. Now, I'm going to click Open in Automation Editor. Now that that's open, I can use this tool right here to kind of curve it up into a higher tempo. Now this is a really touchy tool if you ask me. Now I'm going to have this selected because I want my tempo to gradually increase. Um, I could do this one too, but I kind of want this. Let's say I want it to be... Since it's already on it, I'll do 249 beats per minute. That's a major difference from uh, 140. Okay, we'll go with 246 or whatever it lands on. Something in that bar on that ballpark right there. Okay, so as you can see, this part sloped up a bit right here. But we really don't want that to stop right there. At least I don't. I want it to keep accelerating. So let's just extend this dot we added here over to the right. I'm just going to drag this over here. Again, I'm not really paying much attention to the tempo. You can do that. I'm just, uh, okay, I'll deal with that. Now that we have that, let's play and see what it does. Now that is also really good for transferring into drops, but in this certain case it doesn't really sound, you know, that good. I'm just going to set it down to 140 again because I don't really think it was a good time to increase it, but that was like an example. I'm going to have that set there in case I do anything in the future, but yeah. Now you've got all of these different sound effects to mess with. I'm going to show you how to take a simple sound and turn it into bass. So check this out. We're going to click on this, open it after dragging it into here. And I am going to edit this to where it's going to sound like a bass. Now let's keep that start point right there. But my loop back point, I am going to put this up where the second part of the scratch is. Now the end point should be right after that scratch. Now as you can tell it doesn't sound really much like a bass at all. Now it really sounds like a bass. So. You can also Instead of doing it right there, you can put it all the way back here. But you don't get that initial scratch sound with it. Alright, so there we go. We have a form of bass. 
Now, you got to find a way to fit that into the song because, in all honesty, it's not, you know, that easy to put, you know, just slap sounds together and make it sound pretty good. Like, I mean, you can do it to an extent, but it takes a lot of matching up and good timing. Myself, it takes me a lot of practice to make a song. I have to be able to line things up correctly and, you know, but, uh, let me just see something here. Okay, so here. Now, there's no guarantee this will sound good. I'm just trying it out. So let's try. Let's see. Now, as you can tell, it's a bit choppy. That can be edited, but it's not that bad. Um... As you can tell, it kind of based it out, kind of based the speakers out here, overlap the limit, but. Well, there you go. That's how you can start into a song. And, well, you probably know enough to continue from there. But there's one last thing that I will want to show you. And that is the controller rack right here. Let's go ahead and add a control, and I'll show you what we're going to do with this. Now let's open the scratch sound effects back up. I want you to click the ENV slash LFO right here, and go down to filter. Okay, see this frequency knob right here? Now we're going to make a wobble bass. I'll connect to a controller, controller 1. And as you can tell, it's going back and forth, but I don't, I'm not going to play it yet. Well... Oh, we gotta turn that photo back on and turn it off. Here we go. See, now it's like a very slow wobble. I'm gonna right click this speed, tempo sync. I want this to be an eighth note. Now you can see it's doing that. This goes into my last video. That's how you make wobble bass. Pretty simple, right? So, you can also set automation for that as well um, see here I'm gonna write I'm gonna control click drag the speed right here in the automation track now let's say I want it to be all the way mm, okay I'm just going to say that I want this on for crap okay that didn't turn out as planned but I'm gonna control drag this over here to show that it's on and I'm gonna turn it off and control drag it for over here and that's what the automation track is for basically literal automation so with that I'm gonna start the song <laughs> Okay, so as you can tell, the bass and audio needs adjusted, but it works. So all you have to do there is basically adjust it, make it less bassy, perhaps, and maybe slow that down a bit or speed it up either way. And you're set. So I hope you can manage to make a song off, off of what I've shown you here. And, well, good luck. Just... Put your creativity into it. Do your best. Do what you can. Experiment. Just mess around a bit. A lot of times you got to muck around with this uh, Linux Multimedia Studio application to really find out, you know, your style, what you can do, and what you can learn. But yeah, um, I'm open to suggestions. I'll be, I'll do videos if I get a suggestion because I remember one of you have suggested this and. 
Well, thank you for watching my video. Have a good one.